We use our blue books with our families at different rates and at different times in our relationships with our families. We don't just jump in and a new family comes and here's your blue book, what have you done? We build the relationship. Some parents, if you move too quickly with the blue book information, they may not know about it, they get worried, they don't understand it, but then by building a relationship with the family, you can ease into what we see, what they see at home, and then go from there and use the blue book to its full advantage. Um, I use the blue book when talking to the other education workers. I wasn't really sure um, what my son was up to compared to other children his age, de developmental wise. Um, it was really helpful for when he was learning to talk and learning to walk, as I wasn't really sure. We use the blue book with families in regarding to developmental milestones and where their child might be at, if they have any concerns, if we're seeing what they're seeing at home, and then we can talk to the parent about that. And if need be, they might book in to see a CAFS nurse. Um, otherwise, we just work together and travel along and see how their child's going. Um, the children that are coming, being referred in from the Children's Centre, um, it's great that the conversation's already happened with the educator and the parent. The parent has helped to identify their concerns. So when they come to see us, um, they know what they want to talk about and what they want to ask. Families might come to us um, and ask whether they think their child's at the right spot, if they should be more advanced. And with going back to the blue book with that family, we can say, well, look, hey, look at this. Child, your child's where they meant to be and there's no need to worry, there's no need to take anything any further. It was really helpful, um, I kind of got a feel for when he was supposed to be starting different words and walking as he was a bit um, lazy I guess with his walking, <laughs> he was a bit, um, a bit chubby so he was a bit, uh, it was harder for him to walk but he, once he started um, getting to the age, as most other kids, he was a lot better. I was really satisfied, I guess, with that. I think it makes things less threatening for families. They understand um, what's been spoken about with the teachers and when they come to us, there's no confusion. So um, I think it makes it more welcoming and inviting and um, gives them more confidence. An example of how we would use the blue book with a family is I had a family present new. We needed to build the relationship with her and on seeing uh, her child when they presented to us, I could see pretty quickly that the child needed some guidance or some help. Or mum needed some guidance and help in a certain direction because something wasn't quite right. Mum thought everything was okay, but on seeing the child, it was nearly two, there was no walking, no speech hands in the mouth, uh, very clingy to mum and, and, and not where, you, where the blue book would say their milestones would be. So within uh, talking to mum and building the relationship, the blue book came in handy for me to say, so have you used the blue book? Have you seen what it looks like? Or what, what are you up to? And then we could um, make a common, have a common conversation about what she sees and what we see to make a plan of action for her child. Um, children can come and see us any time, of course, if um, a parent has got some questions or would like more information. Um, but we are seeing more four-year-olds referred in by the Children's Centre where there's already been a discussion. The parents may have identified um, any concerns or have questions um, about their child and um, so then they're coming in to us after referring to the Blue Book and already have some questions and know what they want to um, ask us about and find information. The Blue Book uh, is good for all different age ranges as well. We have children here from birth to five and the Blue Book has milestones and developmental checklists for the whole, that whole range of ch children. Um, when talking to the education staff, um, some families um, go through the milestones in the blue book and it helps them identify that their child's on track and they don't actually have any concerns and they, they don't have to come and see um, child and family health if they're not worried about anything. Um, it made me feel a lot better knowing what other kids were doing at his age and he was kind of doing the same things. The Blue Book is um, the child's record and it can be used by the family um, 
working with the children's centres, the educators um, and child and family health. The parent can jot notes in there, any weights that they do, any concerns or questions um, and it can be used as a tool too for the educators to write notes, the doctor, child and family health staff also. The Blue Book's definitely really good for development because then it's not just us saying this is what we think, everyone's using the Blue Book so the parent, us, the nurses, the doctors, the, the blue books are common language.